The role that citizen journalists played in the Arab Spring was huge. This was the first time uh, for us as Al Jazeera where we didn't have, uh, you know, from Tunisia, we didn't have reporters on the ground. So we relied a lot on uh, the content that was produced by uh, citizen journalists uh, and then uploaded onto, uh, in, in, onto Facebook. Uh, in Tunisia, it was Facebook that was used a lot uh, because YouTube and other sites were blocked. Uh, other countries have been different. Syria, for example, uh, the citizen journalists upload a lot onto YouTube. Um, and, I mean, in many of these cases, uh, the only video you're getting out of, uh, out of the countries is uh, video from citizen journalists. It's like the sole source of uh, video. Uh, the, 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 the platforms of choice uh, in Tunisia, as I said, it's been Facebook because uh, YouTube and everything was blocked. Um, in other places, it's been uh, YouTube uh, mostly just because of, uh, of the ease of, of using it. Uh, people have learned uh, you know, how to make good videos using their mobile phones. Uh, many have used uh, flip cam cameras as well. Uh, but mobile, these days any phone has uh, uh, a camera that's good enough to take decent enough footage uh, that could make it on air, you know, for broadcast, or even using, uh, you know, the different uh, platforms uh, like Bamboozer and others for live streaming uh, protests and rallies uh, as they're happening. You know, these days uh, every, most citizens and journalists know how to use this and they're using it a lot and this forms a big part of it. Thank you.